Hello and welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. Well, not long time, but a little, a little while no see. A lot of the reasons for this will become clear in this video. So I'm just going to go into it. It's about minimalism. It's about what's been happening in my life. And I'm going to tell the story chronologically, I think. So a few weeks ago, I decided to update my operating system on my MacBook. And then a load of programs that I use all of the time wouldn't work. So I decided to go back to a previous operating system. And I thought to myself, you know what? This is going to be a really good opportunity for me to have a declutter of all my digital stuff. So I had so many photos and I had loads of projects, like music projects that I just started and nothing had ever happened with them. I had loads of stuff. I, I download loads of things. I don't know. I, if ever I find like a picture I like, I download it. Or... A PDF that I download, download everything. They go and like download frenzies like three times a week. So I thought I'll have a little clear out and then I can just keep the things that I need. And it's important to keep everything nice and clean. Um, and digital decluttering is one that I just find a bit more tiresome and not as rewarding as real life decluttering. So I tend to kind of ignore it. Anyway, so I thought this would be a really good opportunity for that. Then I put everything on my external hard drive. Thought I can just store it there while I revert back to a previous operating system. And then, of course, uh, the whole thing died and I lost everything <laughs> that was on the external hard drive. And I've taken it to a shop and they tried to get the files back, they tried to get it fixed, they tried lots of different things. And um, they messaged me yesterday saying that there's nothing they can do. It's all gone. Everything is gone. So this is all of the music I've been working on. This is all of my photographs. This is, you know, photographs of when I've gone traveling and of the cats when they were little. Arwen when she was a kitten and loads of videos. One thing I have talked about in the past is if ever I declutter a physical object, I'll sometimes take a photo of it so that the memory is can be triggered by the photograph even you know without actually having the object there taking up space. So all that was gone. And I do have a Google Drive which has quite a few photos on it. So I don't think I've lost, I haven't lost everything, but I've definitely lost all of my music and all of the projects I was working on all my videos, they're all gone. And I am not as upset as I maybe thought I would be. The way I've kind of dealt with the music stuff is I've decided that if I couldn't remember what it was, then it was probably worth keeping. So there's quite a few things that I can actually remember. And then I'm sort of seeing it as a test of quality in some way. If I can remember what it was, then it's probably okay. And if I can't, then it probably wasn't worth continuing with anyway. The photo video thing is a bit gutting but it always comes back to this idea of like I am enough so although it is a sad it feels like a sad thing to happen because it feels like loss it, it's sort of like a, it's a little bit grievy. That's the other thing that's really annoying as well is that so many of the things that I lost aren't just memories but they are it's like time that I spend so I put so much time into my music and into like projects and into my videos and I feel like all that time has been wasted now so that feels a little bit more like angular than the other things because it's like time is an irreplaceable resource and I've lost it it has gone I, ca I can no longer build on things that I'd already started building because the foundations of them have gone. A lot of the time I think about how I will feel in the future when I'm a lot older, obviously, and maybe a little bit, I don't know, you know, your memory goes and I like the idea of having something to look back on and I feel like digital media is a really good way of doing that because you don't have to hang on to the physical physical things for your whole life to be able to like surround yourself with memories. You don't have to hold on to photographs or anything, you can just have these files. And um, I've lost so much, so much. I'd, I'm not that sad about it. I, I think as a concept, it's a bit gutting, but then in terms of in reality, haven't really lost anything 
of real value because in nostalgia and remembering things is remembering things is nice but it's not you know there is a lot more to being alive than that so say if this happened to me before minimalism I'd be a lot more upset and I think the reason I'd be more upset is because I, I, I've put too much value in memories and nostalgia when they are nice things and it's, you know, the, the, nostalgia is a pleasant feeling sometimes but you don't need proof of your past to reap the benefits of it. You know, everything that I am is because of who I was and everything that I've done and that still stands. I am enough as I am and I feel like the absence of me being upset is kind of proof that I'm moving in the right direction, maybe? I don't know. But I've started thinking about social media in a different way because of it. So I am now striving to not only back up everything onto hard drives, but back up everything onto, like, online. Essentially, updating your social media and having, you know, like, maintaining an Instagram profile or a Facebook page or whatever it is that you do is in a lot of ways kind of like writing your own like an auto it's like an autobiography or a memoir or something it's like but you can keep it updated as you go and you can actually the readers of your autobiography can actually speak to you so i'm reassessing the value of social media in a lot of ways because i really in fact it's i think i realized this on it's on kayla nicholson's instagram bio there's something like capturing memories for when i'm old and senile or something like that and i remember thinking that I quite like that as a concept. I like the idea of being able to look back at my life and I feel like the internet is probably the most secure way of doing that because hard drives fail, hard drives die. I know, I know the internet could do the same but it just feels a little bit less likely. So I think I'm gonna try and be a bit more active on social media now because I, I think about thing, things incredibly internally and I was thinking about how I feel and how it's making me feel and all this kind of thing when really I need to be thinking about the primary use of these things and it's very useful, social media is useful and it's been made clear to me exactly how useful it can be. I have no videos, I had made videos and they're all gone and we're starting fresh. I need to make a new end screen. I need to make new everything. So yeah, I've lost everything, it sucks a bit but I am enough as I am and you know, it's always better just to think about the positives and I guess the positive thing is that I now think about social media in a bit more of a friendly light. And I don't know why I am so obsessed with this idea of being old and senile and, and wanting to look back at my life. But it just seems very relevant to me. I don't know. Why is that? Why do I have such a focus on that? I don't know. I just feel like I've always been very focused on nostalgia and preparing to be nostalgic at some point. Rather than just living my life. Anyway, that's another video for another time, isn't it? I'll have to think about that one. Anyway, yes, sorry for the silence and thank you for watching. I hope you are doing well and you've had, a, is it three weeks? I think you've had a very lovely three weeks. And um, I hope to hear from you in the comments anyway and I will see you soon. See you later, goodbye. Branded, your position, heartfelt, social condition, not bad, but I have it.